Mesdames, Messieurs, Chris Kikiri, Sedati of Sedati, Mesdames, Messieurs, etc. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Um, this is The Economist, uh, Technology and Innovation in 2023 and Beyond. Let's hope there is a very long beyond. Uh, my name is John Andrews from The Economist. It's a real pleasure to welcome you here uh, this evening. Um, I'm well aware that only three weeks ago, Greece had a terrible tragedy uh, near Larissa, and uh, it really is awful. And I, my heart goes out to you, and I think I'm sure that my sentiments are shared by most people around the world who heard about this tragedy. So I'm not sure that uh, I can do anything more really than just express my condolences um, and hope that we can somehow uh, move on from that tonight. Let's have a very good evening tonight. Um, this is, uh, I mean, I'm supposed to give you a few words about technology and innovation in 2023 and beyond. And actually, I don't know much about 2023. It's been a pretty bad year for me at the moment because we're moving house. And so I, I left my wife undoing boxes and having a terrible problem uh, blaming me for coming off out here to decent weather, whereas in Britain at the moment it's rather cold and grim. Um, but we are in a very, very interesting period. I think if you go back to, I think it was Ray Kurzweil back, back in the 1990s, who introduced the concept of the singularity, which basically means that um, artificial intelligence become more uh, important, more knowledgeable, will surpass our own human intellect. Maybe we're getting that. I mean, you go back to uh, IBM, and uh, I think it was, it was it Deep Blue that defeated Gary Kasparov at chess. And then we have uh, Deep Mind, now bought by Google, which defeated Go, at, uh, the champion of Go. Um, so we are moving into an era where artificial intelligence um, is going way beyond what I suspect any of us could ever have imagined. Now, if I were really bright, I would not be talking to you like this. I would have downloaded from AI Open, Open AI, Chat GPT. And Chat GPT would have given me a little speech to make, and it would be far better than the words that I'm uh, expressing to you now. But sadly, I didn't do that. I didn't download it, probably because I'm scared that maybe there'll be some kind of cyber security uh, backdoor coming into my computer. So I wouldn't do that. Instead, what I'm going to do is ask our keynote speakers to come here, up here. Uh, Kyriakos Kyriarakis, the Minister of Digital Governments in Greece, who is a real techn technological whiz. So, Minister, the floor is yours. And also, I'd like to ask Chris Messina, uh, who is most famous not for being a film actor. He's cursed by having an actor who has the same name as him. He, of course, is obviously much better looking than that film actor. And his real claim to fame is that he is a, a, a startup entrepreneur across the board and also invented uh, the hashtag. So if you get a tirade, a torrent of abuse on your social media sites. Basically, you can blame Chris. So Chris, will you come to the floor as well? And Minister, if you could say a few words to the audience. Thank you. 